tripod mode is probably the most underutilized and underappreciated intelligent flight mode on DJI drones. It limits the max flight speed to either 2.2 miles per hour or 5.6 miles per hour, which doesn't sound fun at all, and I think it deters a lot of pilots from giving it a chance. But tripod mode enables extremely smooth and controlled motion, allowing you to capture cinematic shots for a variety of applications. So in this video, we are going over everything you need to know about tripod mode and its five best use cases. So first, what exactly does tripod mode do? It limits the maximum flight speed of the drone and reduces the braking distance. So on Spark, Mavic Air, and Mavic Pro, the maximum flight speed is throttled to 2.2 miles per hour, while on the Phantom 4 series of drones, it is limited to 5.6 miles per hour. The 3D infrared sensing system on the Phantom 4 Pro is also activated in tripod mode to assist with obstacle avoidance. So how do you enable tripod mode? First, you need to make sure you have one of the compatible drones, and then once you are airborne, you can go into the intelligent flight modes and select tripod mode. Here you can see DJI gives you a splash screen which explains the mode nicely. It reads, in tripod mode, flight speed and control sensitivity will be substantially reduced for fine control and more stable shooting. Now, why would you want to enable tripod mode? Well, for the very reasons we just said, it enables slow and controlled motion for smooth footage and cinematic shots. This is ideal for a wide variety of applications, and here are the five best use cases for tripod mode. Number one, for carefully maneuvering your drone in an area with a lot of obstacles. Here you can see we are using tripod mode to film a residential property located in a thickly wooded area. The slower movements give us more control for some nice shots and allow us to stay a safe distance away from the brush and other obstacles. Number two, building off of that, tripod mode is excellent for getting smooth cinematic footage while close to the ground. This is ideal for showcasing a property from lower angles, something not every drone pilot considers. The three axis gimbal stabilization combined with the slower motion produces some really nice shots and it can be great mixing this footage in with higher altitude clips for a diverse range of footage. This is definitely something fun to play around with, and again, with the added control, you can more easily avoid trees, telephone poles, and other obstacles. Number three, commercial projects. Not only is tripod mode great for capturing storefront locations and the exterior of buildings, but it is excellent for flying indoors as well. Many companies like to showcase the operation of their equipment or machinery at their facilities, or just the interior of a large space, and using tripod mode is perfect for this. It helps give you more control of your drone, stay a safe distance away from walls and other obstacles, while also allowing you to capture smooth cinematic footage. Number four, time lapses or hyperlapses. Tripod mode is so smooth, you can actually hit record, fly in a single direction, and then speed up the footage in post-production to get a really cool time-lapse effect. The same is true for hyperlapses. Set your drone to take photos at regular intervals, fly in a straight path for a few minutes, and then you'll end up with a beautiful hyperlapse. And number five, anything else. Tripod mode is honestly so versatile, it can be applied to a wide variety of projects and use cases. As we saw in this video, it flexes its muscles in residential real estate, commercial real estate, in cool creative projects, and anything else requiring advanced control, smooth motion, and beautiful footage. So that is how you use tripod mode and the top five best use cases for tripod mode. Let me know how you plan to use tripod mode in your next drone flight in the comments section down below. Feel free to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.